What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to make like a, a script where you can find someone's ID, like user ID, so I'll show you what that means. So basically, you don't have to type their name to give them like a, a command or like an exploiter in their game. You can just get it from their ID and you don't have to keep changing the script in their name. I want to show you how to do that. So, you want to go to the server script surface or whatever it's called you get script you can name it whatever I'm just gonna name it test so you know when you have to type someone's name uh, it could be anything you, could you just type their name like so it's just test you know and then you just type it it's like that you just type it player joins and then require so a lot of people use this okay a lot of people use this and they don't know how to make it where they can just type their ID so I'm going to show you how to do that game dot players dot player added uh, connect function and then you can type whatever you want here. This is the player. So what I I'll just type player. Or you can just type this. I don't know. Just type player. So you want to type if player dot user id equal equal. And then you want to type their you want to get their id. Put their id and then you want to put then you want to click require and then uh, I'm just gonna put load and you want to put player dot name oops name just like that or whatever the script is that has that and then if you go in the game it should there it goes so it gives it to me this is uh, my commands that I make. It's pretty funny. See, it works. Uh, yeah, it's kind of confusing. So, uh, if you want it to, if you want to have, uh, okay. So, if you want other players to have as well, put or player dot user id equal equal and this get someone else's id so this get one get someone's id this right there and this to prove it works i'm just going to switch yeah hold on i'm just going to put my ID right there and if I go in the game it should give it to me yep just like that and there's no glitches at all uh, the reason why this is popping up is because I put a script in one of these uh, I don't know why it's acting like that but yeah it works it's this thing is it's really cool so you don't have to type their name and then keep changing it if they uh, type their name. So yeah, this is really helpful. Helpful. So you don't have to keep changing their name and their scripts. Just type their user ID. It's pretty nice. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 